Hey everyone, welcome back to Ton Orbital. I'm Tonio, and today we're diving into something super exciting in the Ton ecosystem, Ton DNS. By the end of this video, you'll understand what Ton DNS is, how it works, how you can get your own unique Ton address, and how to buy and sell them. Ton DNS, or Domain Name Service, is a decentralized service on the Ton blockchain that lets you assign human readable names to crypto wallets, smart contracts, and even websites. Instead of dealing with long, complicated wallet addresses. You can use simple names like wallet.ton. This makes sending and receiving ton not only easier, but also much safer, reducing the risk of copy-paste errors and simplifying transactions across the ecosystem. Services like Tonkeeper, Ton Web Wallet, and Tonscan have integrated Ton DNS, making it easier to use your domain across the network. Now, let's get a Ton DNS. Ton DNS names are NFTs, and there are mainly two ways to get them. You can buy one from a marketplace or mint one yourself. First, let's try buying it from a marketplace like GetGems. To start, we go to getgems.io, hit the connect button, and link our Tonkeeper wallet to the website. Next, if we scroll down, we can see the top collections, and Ton DNS is one of them. Here we can see all the Ton DNS names. Some are listed for sale and others are up for auction. We have the option to bid on auctions or buy them directly. Let's sort the NFTs to show only the ones for sale and buy one. The first one looks good, let's get that one. Here we just need to hit the buy button and confirm the transaction in our wallet and wait for the transaction to go through. After that, if we check our wallet, we can see that we've received our Ton DNS NFT. To link this domain to our wallet, we just need to hit the Manage button and connect our wallet to DNS Ton Keeper. Next, we tap Link Domain, verify the wallet address, hit Link, and confirm the transaction by paying a small fee. And that's it. Now let's test our new DNS. Let's send some USDT from our other wallet, but this time, instead of using the wallet address, let's use our Ton DNS. Next, we set the amount and confirm the transaction. Now, if we go back to our wallet, we can see that the USDT has been successfully sent. You can also use your Telegram username NFT as a domain for your wallet, as you can see here. Make sure to watch our video on Telegram usernames to learn more. Now, let's mint our own Ton DNS NFT. On dns.ton.org, you can search for a specific domain to check its status and mint it if it's not taken. For example, let's search for hello.ton. As you can see, it's already taken. If we go to Get Gems to make an offer, we'll notice that this domain is not for sale or up for auction. Let's try another example, 21.ton. This domain is currently up for auction, and if we go to Get Gems, we can place a bid ourselves. Now let's try get a domain we want to have. As you can see, there is a problem with this domain. .ton domain names must be 4 to 126 characters long using English letters, digits, and hyphens. Shorter names are restricted to avoid conflicts with popular internet domains. Let's try something else. This one is available, but before we can get it right away, we have to place a bid. For domains with no owner, the auction lasts only one hour. So we'll place a one ton bid, confirm the transaction in our wallet, and if no one outbids us within that hour, the domain is ours. And that's it, we now own this domain. As you can see, all domains have an expiration date. Each year, the domain owner must send 0.015 tons to its smart contract to renew it. If the owner fails to extend their domain, it will be put up for auction. For expired domains, the auction lasts for one week. This mechanism helps prevent the loss of a domain forever if the owner loses access. Now, if we go back to our wallet, we can see that our new domain has been added. Just like before, we go to Manage and then link our new domain to our wallet. Let's go to our second wallet and test both of our domains by sending some not. First, we'll try the one we got from Get Gems, and then the one we minted ourselves. Let's see if both work correctly. After the transaction is complete, we can see that the not has been successfully received. Now, let's try to put one of our domains up for sale. First, we need to go to Get Gems and navigate to our account where we can see all of our NFTs. Here we'll choose the domain we want to sell and press the put on for sale button. We have the option to either set a fixed price or list it for auction. Here we'll choose to set a fixed price, enter the amount, and select the token we want to receive. After that, we'll hit the put on sale button and confirm the transaction in our wallet. 
That's it, our Ton DNS NFT is now listed for sale. If we search for it on DNS.ton, we can check its current status and see that it's on sale. And that's a wrap on Ton DNS. With a .ton domain, you get simpler transactions, more secure transfers, and an easy to remember address that works seamlessly across the Ton ecosystem. Plus, your domain is fully decentralized. Nobody can take it away, and you can even sell it as an NFT. But remember, always do your own research before making any decisions. Understanding the technology is key to making the most of it. If this guide helped you, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for updates. Stay informed with the latest ton news by following us on Telegram and Twitter. Links are in the description. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.